Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 12th, 2019. November 12th. My goodness, we're almost halfway through November. What an incredible run we have had in this market. We just have relentless bulls no matter what happens we, we're tending to ignore anything negative the bulls will ignore anything negative and then if that negative happens to uh, be resolved we surge even higher so for example um, we we ignore anything in the trade war uh, to push higher but if there's any kind of a news event that says, oh, we may relax this or do that, we surge even higher. It's pretty remarkable um, how strong the bulls are in this market. So yesterday we had trade concerns in the morning and we gapped down in the morning. But then we had news from Boeing. And whoops, Boeing came out and uh, let everyone know that they are likely to get the 737 um, approval and they may be um, able to put them back in the air sometime in January and Boeing just ripped the cover off the ball here just home run move yesterday really pushing up higher and that really pushed the diamonds uh, to a new record high at the close. So we, we recovered that initial selling, bounced right back, and Boeing really fueled that market higher, giving that Dow the new record close that they were after. Now, uh, during the night, we had, you know, more concerns and things like that going on. But then we get a, a news report that speculates that the president is going to delay European tariffs and suddenly once again um, we are inspired this morning and the bulls are pushing for more record highs this morning so we're looking at a small gap up this morning here in the Dow of uh, currently as I'm as I speak about 25 points and that is just simply speculation of, as to what the president is going to say on Wednesday so we'll have to wait and see but here again we're just so all we want to do is go up and the bulls are very very strong let's take a look um, at the technicals of the chart and we're in really good shape here as long as we hold above this breakout I think we're in good good shape that hold of this gap yesterday was a, um, an exceptionally strong move by the bulls. So holding that gap and now pushing on higher. So I think we're in really good shape as long as we don't start breaking down toward that support area. Our trend is certainly strong and up. The only concern I have is that we may be a little bit far removed, that we're a bit stretched in the market, meaning that we're a little bit far removed from our moving averages. And if we happen to stumble, it could be a brutal sell off if we happen to stumble but right now the bulls are just relentless in this move higher so no signs here of stumbling just yet let's take a look at the spy spy very very strong recovering um, it's gapped down uh, considerably yesterday and now this morning we're looking at another gap up so we're looking at the SPY to gap up just slightly this morning we haven't recovered all the way back to new highs obviously did not set a new record high but as you can see this is the eight exponential moving average we call that the T line or trigger line and you can see we're just running this T line in this relentlessly strong bull move just running right running 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 now one of the members yesterday and I have happened to agree with his comment says at least some of the volatility has dropped off and that's true we don't have the the huge open gaps and the whip back and forth that we've seen here um, in the market recently we just are relentlessly bullish and there seems to be zero fear in this market which seems a little bit odd to me um, but there it is um, whether it's odd to me or not it doesn't matter I have to follow the price action on the chart 
and the price action is bullish and we're moving higher. Once again, we're a little bit far removed from our 50 day moving average. That's my biggest concern that we have stretched this rally just a little bit too far, but kind of interesting um, how it is moving right now. There's just no back off from the bulls. Let's take a look at the cues. Q is largely the same kind of an inside day yesterday, but once again, we're looking at a bit of a gap up open as those bulls just continue to push. Could see record high prints in the, in the market this morning here on the queues, and it's entirely possible that we get a, a new record high close today if they continue to push the way they are at the moment. Once again, I'm just going to say that we're a little bit far away from that 50. When we start getting that kind of separation, we tend to get a rest or a pullback. So <clears throat> I want to watch that pretty closely. But as of now, we are bullish and there's no sign of those bulls stopping just yet. They just want to go up. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM had a gap down yesterday and there was a little bit of concern on my part that we might fail this level early on in the day. But the bulls came roaring back in, held that support level. So IWM is back in the game and holding up pretty well here. Um, holding support levels after the breakout. That's a good sign. And we can see that we're looking at just a modest gap up this morning here in IWM as well. So we're green across the board. Futures just have no back off in them. We're just wanting to go up. Let's take a look at the VIX. If we take a look at that VIX, the VIX kind of an interesting chart in that there's just no fear here. You can see we've dropped and dropped and dropped and dropped in fear. We do have a little support right in this area. Now, although we we popped up yesterday with uh, that gap down, uh, those bulls um, rushing back in on that Boeing report, um, pushing that fear back down. So although we popped up, all we did was really confirm this area right in here as a downtrend resistance in the chart and now the bullishness this morning is likely to push us back down toward this support level in the chart um, you know what can you say bulls are in control and uh, we have no fear over any of these news events that may come be coming around let's take a look at t21 22. Now, T2122 was a little bit interesting yesterday in that it actually continued to sell off as the market was rallying up. Now, what that typically tells me is that the rally was not broad based. What, what I mean by that is we had very specific stocks that were moving, um, like Boeing, and they were pushing on big, big, um, market cap stocks that hold a large weighting in their average and by pushing those they created uh, that nice bullish move in the market but overall stocks were continuing to um, consolidate or pull back just a little bit so now we have a situation this morning that we are right down here near 50 um, in the t21 22 um, indicator and you can see that that now opens up plenty of upside room for for those bulls to continue pushing higher and i think that's exactly what they want to do they just want to go up and um, we have to keep in mind that we have an equal weight to the downside this indicator doesn't tell us if we're going to go up or going to go down but it just tells us how much room we have to go and right now we have plenty of room for an um, upside move and the futures are pushing toward that upside um, as we speak so here we go more bullish action in the market let's take a look at um, our economic calendar here for today. Economic calendar really doesn't have a whole lot on it to move us around. As you can see, we've got a parade of Fed speakers um, in the market. We've got a bunch of bond auctions and announcements. And other than that, there's nothing on here to really move the market around at all. So today the focus will be on news events 
and um, the earnings calendar, which we have over 300 companies reporting earnings uh, today. Um, a few notables out there to uh, be made aware of, like uh, Tyson. Tyson is one that could move around. You can see Tyson looks like it's gapping down this morning. Must have missed on its news. Uh, TLRY, for those that are watching cannabis, you can see this is, it doesn't look like it's reported this morning. YY will be reporting this morning. Um, doesn't or today I'm not sure if it's this morning so we've got a few of those kind of stocks moving around um, AAP advanced auto reporting and they're gapping down here this morning as you can see CBS CBS on that calendar looks like they are getting a positive positive response to their earnings so a few of those kind of stocks moving around here today that we'll want to keep an eye on and, and certainly affecting the market. Let's take a look at um, a few stocks that could be setting up for the day, a few stocks that may be of interest. But before we do that, you guys, if you could uh, do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please make sure to click that subscribe button on uh, YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up that way you can be notified every time i post a video by the way I, I post a brand new video on the market virtually every day unless i happen to be traveling every single day on the market and the purpose of the video is to help everyone take the time to look at the technicals to see what's going on in the price action of the chart not to predict anything and if you find that helpful if you could please um, click that thumbs up button and leave a comment i truly truly appreciate everyone who does do that that helps um, the algorithms continue to show these videos to more folks and keeps the channel growing and you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate all of those things and honestly some of the comments uh, are truly humbling I, I really appreciate that you guys are awesome so with that let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and before I, I say anything about some of these stocks I want to remind everyone that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. What I intend to do with these videos is provide some good quality information without hyper prediction, but to also uh, provide some stock ideas that you can put on a watch list and do make an evaluation for yourself. Make sure that you're focusing on that. One of the things that's a terrible mistake for traders to make is to blindly follow and I want to let everyone know that tonight um, in uh, the uh, our public um, e-learning uh, room room three we're going to be doing a class I'm going to be doing a class on overcoming common common trading mistakes and one of those common trading mistakes is blindly following so if you're finding yourself getting caught in um, repetitive trading mistakes you might want to attend tonight and I'll make sure and put a link in the description below um, for that webinar uh, link and that is 8 p.m. Eastern tonight so please feel free to come on over so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up uh, Pan W is one that I brought up yesterday to folks in RWO Pan W hold, holding up pretty nicely you can see we have a nice trend going on here and a nice bullish move on Friday now certainly you can see I have a resistance area marked in the chart it's going to be really important for Pan W to deal with that resistance whether it be a further consolidation and then a pop out um, whether it be a pop out and a hold and then uh, an opportunity to buy but keep that one in mind Pan W could be setting up and has been very very strong here recently showing um, showing lots and lots of bullishness let's take a look at SWKS SWKS a nice little consolidating what I call a pop out of the box where we have this really tight consolidation for a minimum of four days and then we pop on through pop out of that box and holding up very very strong here overall and you can see SWKS in a nice trend now 
with the trend being as I've drawn it here, and I'm not saying that the way I've drawn it is accurate, um, but the way I see this, this could continue to consolidate for a few more days. So there's an opportunity here to plan a trade in this without rushing into a position. Always keep in mind that there is resistance in the chart on most charts, and there certainly is on SWKS. So we've got some resistance to deal with. That could create a little bit more rest or consolidation up here before we build enough energy to pop on through. Take a look at UNP. UNP, nice little price action in here in this chart. But once again, there's some resistance. And, you know, with all of the challenging price action we've had over the last few months, it's no surprise that there's some resistance in the chart. But if you take a look at this, we have a nice little trend. Bullish price action yesterday. We still have to get through this resistance to break out, but it looks like there may be an opportunity and certainly want to keep an eye on UNP um, in the chart. How about JWN? Um, Nordstrom's showing some strength here. Nordstrom's in a nice little uptrend. You can see we've broken through this price resistance area right here. We're holding it as support. Nice bullish candle yesterday. If we can get any kind of follow through and pop on out, we've got some nice upside potential here in Nordstrom's and retail has been remarkably strong in uh, select places. So keep an eye on Nordstrom's. Another uh, retailer looking pretty good yesterday was Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters running this nice trend up in this chart and just looking really, really good. Now we do have this resistance that I've marked out in the chart that we must deal with and there's nothing big about this resistance level, but you know, we still have to deal with that resistance as we approach those. So any rest or consolidation or any follow through to the upside could pop us up out of there. And then there's some nice upside potential move in Urban Outfitters showing lots of strength here overall. Take a look at Lowe's, another retail rallying back up it struggled here for a bit and i was a little concerned about this chart as you can see we broke the downtrend in this chart and we confirmed an uptrend so we moved through we've held this downtrend as support we're holding our uptrend and the bulls are coming into this chart so let's watch this there may be more upside in lows coming i mentioned john deere in the uh, morning video yesterday to keep an eye on john deere john deere did follow through yesterday finding a little inspiration on the boeing news popping on through holding that support you can see nice bullish candle possibly looking for some follow through to the upside and if we look out here this is a massive breakout on boeing so we've got uh, blue sky above potential um, potentially this could really move higher so let's keep an eye on john deere another one i've been keeping an eye on is valero valero moving up and as you can see we've changed the tra trajectory of our trend possibly and we've moved up and we've got this nice little consolidation coming in right in here. Nice little tight box. Now, this little area, we need those bulls to push on up, but Valero looking strong. And if I pull this back, there is some price resistance in the chart up here, but I think there is an opportunity that we could move up toward that level. All we're doing right now is we're confirming that we can hold on to that big round number 100. 100 is one of those levels that we struggle with, either breaking through or holding it as support. So if we continue to consolidate this move, and we may have to consolidate this for several more days out here, um, there may be an opportunity um, in Valero to keep an eye on. Netflix. This is a very different chart. This is what we call a rounded bottom breakout. And a rounded bottom breakout is nothing more than the stock has been tremendously oversold, breaks above its 50-day moving average, holds it as support, begins that uptrend. What we're looking for is a move up toward the 200-day moving average. And we had this nice little consolidation. Bullish price action yesterday wasn't quite able to just snap right through. If we get any follow through today, there may be an opportunity here in Netflix, and you can see we're popping up right into that um, alert that I have set on the chart. So keep an eye 
on Netflix. Also mention Apple. Placed a price alert on Apple, and you can see yesterday that popped right on through um, in Apple. Apple holding that nice, strong trend, um, staying very, very strong in this market and moving on higher. So keep an eye on that. Now, don't be too surprised if this has to rest a little bit before it continues up, but Netflix looking very, very strong. Or I mean, Apple looking very, very strong. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. I want to wish you great profits. And if you're struggling as a trader, please, please take some time to get some help. You know, one of the things that um, I will talk about tonight is how important it is to invest in yourself. And if you are struggling as a trader, you may have to back up a little bit, spend a little bit more time studying, but I want to encourage you to never give up because if an old carpenter like myself can figure this out and been able to make a career out of trading for the last 14 years, anybody can. Everyone take care. I want to wish you all the very, very best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.